are you ceding some control over your own choices to the device? And does resistance become futile? Are we are we joining the Borg <laughs> if we get a Neuralink? We are the Borg. Lower your shields and screw to your ships. Resistance is futile. And and should, I, mean, I guess from a libertarian perspective, if there's a risk that that's the case, should we be trying to stop people from making that choice, or is that a choice people should be free to make? No, I think the way that you deal with it, kind of similar to social media and big tech, the answer isn't to look at the end stage, right? It's not to look at the consumer making the choice or the company providing the service. It's making sure that you don't have some kind of entity like usually the government or some extra governmental entity like what we're seeing with the collusion between government and big tech that Elon helped expose quite a bit uh, during the Twitter files drops. Um, you want to make sure that you stop that. Because the, the technology and the ability for interconnectedness and the ability for, you know, expanded consciousness and, and being, to, uh, being able to upload memories and, you know, store your memories in cloud storage or whatever else they, they're proposing, all of that is incredible stuff. And there is the risk of there being a problem, but that risk only exists if there are bad actors in government and in collusion between government and, and big companies to use that in bad ways. So that's where you address it. You don't say, oh, this thing has a potential risk, so we're going to stop people from using it. You say this thing has a potential risk, so we're going to make sure that people in positions of power have that there's a, you know, a, a, an air gap between and this technology. That's the way you deal with that. Just moving forward on tech stuff, I look at, let's say, Tesla and this uh, development of self-driving cars. Is there a libertarian perspective on electric vehicles and self-driving cars that differs from, that's substantially different from what we see in the mainstream discussions? Uh, I think, again, I mean, our, our perspective, typically speaking, the libertarian perspective um, is on a skepticism towards government power. And government authority so again just like we were talking about before self-driving cars fully automated cars electric cars all of that stuff in and of itself is not a problem the potential issue is if you again you look at what we have now you know uh we're watching right now people that are being accused of things aren't being allowed to monetize i, I picked up my phone aren't being allowed to monetize on youtube what happens when they're not allowed to turn their car on or, yep. or their their car won't, you know, they, uh, the, the British government sends a letter to uh, Tesla and says, hey, you have to not let this guy's car start. Um, that's where the concern is. So again, and, and a lot of times many libertarians will say, and so we're against, or a lot of people that are just skeptical of this power to begin with will say, well, so then we shouldn't allow that to happen. I disagree with that. I think what we shouldn't allow it to happen is to have government have that level of influence in the first place. We need to be focused on limiting government, not technology.